All right, everyone, a quick update for QNT. We've been watching QNT on the channel here uh, in this downtrend at the support level here, and I am very well aware that QNT is in this descending triangle pattern here, which is a bearish pattern. Um, with that being said, it does not always have to break down and play out that way. It could break to the upside. That's why we've been kind of pointing out and adjusting our support box here. Uh, we are now down to about 91, up to 100. As long as we hold support here, there is a chance that come October sometime that we could break the downtrend and move to the upside. So this is still a very good chance to get in on QNT, in my opinion. This descending triangle bearish pattern in no way um, uh, stops me from investing in QNT. Uh, I know there is a huge potential that QNT is going to break down and come down to these way lower price targets. Uh, that's not a big, um, big issue in my opinion. If it comes down to these lower prices, so be it. Uh, I will just be able to get, just like you guys, we'll be able to get Q&T at these lower prices here. So with that being said, if this descending triangle here is going to play out to the downside, uh, you could see that from the larger FIB here on the three-day chart, from that low to that high, we just lost support at the 0.5 at 96 here. And we're coming down. We're right here at the bottom of our box. So there is a very good high chance that if we go any lower than we are now, we pointed this out last time, that QNT is going to start falling off the table here. So we have a potential 14% drop down to our 6.8 at 78, which could be the bottom. And then we have our 786 down here at 59, pretty much 60 bucks for a 35.5% drop on QNT. You know, if that's going to be the case, if this pattern is going to play out to the downside, which there's a, a better probability that it will than it breaking to the upside then so be it. Like I said, we'll get a, a good discount on QNT here. I still think QNT is going to go above $2,000 in the next bull run, and it's going to make a good trade. I like the project, and we'll see how it plays out. So if it comes down bearish out of this pattern, so be it. Um, we'll just uh, scoop some more up down at these lower price targets. If we end up holding this, uh, you'll be glad that you 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 loaded up on some QNT here before it does break the downtrend and it does start moving higher. So we'll see how it plays out. I would say this, there is more more um, narrative to the downside than there is to the upside. Just due to the fact that you're in this downtrend, you are in this bearish pattern, you did just break the 0.5 here, and it looks like you are coming down. So we'll see how it plays out. You know, I'm hoping QNT comes down to these lower price targets because I would love to get a lot more QNT before it's too late. So I'll leave it at that on QNT. One other thing to point out, the momentum is way down. Heikinashi candles are printing red those shadows so it is trending down it has momentum down it's in this bearish pattern we just lost a 0.5 and there's a good argument to be made that it is coming down to these lower price targets here so we'll see um so with that said not financial advice good luck and we will see you in the next one peace out